Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guide. Today we're going to be discussing how to unbox a pinball machine. Lots of steps in here. Very simple, realistically, once you actually get it achieved. Uh, but for people that have never unboxed a pinball machine before, especially if it's been delivered to your house, these are the steps to follow. Uh, we will be giving some light commentary today, just going over kind of what you need to do. But also, look down below the video. We'll go ahead and list the steps that are needed as well as we will be showcasing some photos throughout the video. Uh, so that way, you could pause it, take a screenshot, and go from there. Uh, first things first, when buying a pinball machine, they will be delivered on a wood crate uh, in a box, and it will be delivered to your house, or you can pick it up at your uh, local retailer. Uh, from that point, the first things that you want to do is basically, in a upward motion, look at the box, make sure that it says, do not ship from this side, and cut it along the edges of the box. You do not want to have your X-Acto knife too long. You cut the edges uh, with about a quarter of an inch of a blade. And uh, of course, keep in mind, uh, you don't want the blade too long. And the other thing is that the legs are stored in the corners of the box. So you want to cut to the edge of the box before you get to the corner. That way you don't injure the legs of the machine, but also so you don't have any issues with cutting into the box. At that point, go ahead and pull the cardboard down. You will see uh, your your pinball machine. It is already uh, locked, latched. Uh, everything is ready to be moved. So at this point, again, most people have a false misconception that pinball machines, uh, you can lay down flat on the ground. You definitely don't have any kind of support underneath the pinball machine to do that. Uh, with that said, obviously the pegs are to the back of the machine, so it will be actually in a in a vertical position. So the pegs will be underneath uh, the actual pinball machine. And so that's the way you want to transport it. At that point, you want to slide your pinball machine uh, off of the crate and you want to have a dolly or you can manually carry it. I, I would recommend highly getting a dolly. And at that point, once you have the dolly, you set it with the back box facing outward on its back on the dolly and you want to make sure to wrap it, make sure that it is covered so that way there's no dings. And at that point, that's it. You just basically put it on the dolly or manually carry it. Sometimes people take the hard way. Dollies are a little easier. Just make sure your doors check out our other video on measurements of doors and what will fit within your house, but also within a car. That way you can get your measurements right first off. Get the dolly inside. You know, you could take it down the stairs if you have a ranch a lot easier, but if you gotta take it down the stairs, make sure you measure the, the, the backboard at the back box of this uh, pinball machine to make sure it's gonna fit. And at that point, just gradually with the help of maybe one or two other people, get it down. Uh, to uh, the area that you're going to be setting it up. Now, at that point, um, some things that I want to keep in mind here is, of course, when you're setting it up, uh, you want to basically take it off the dolly and at that point, leverage it down from vertical to about this angle right here. And you want to go ahead and get your legs on it. So at that point, go ahead and get the bolts. They should be in the pinball machine. Take those bolts, put them in the front legs first and do not over tighten them. Of course, tighten them, make it snug, do not over tighten them. You do not want to strip these bolts uh, or these screw sets. Uh, with that being the case, you're going to want to actually at that point uh, as well, if you have access, once you set it down, you're gonna set it straight down on the front legs. Uh, go ahead and open your coin box, pull out the stuff that's in there. That way you safeguard it from falling to the back. And uh, and that's really it. Of course, you're going to, at that point, lift the back up. So if you if you have a dolly that will allow you to support it and lift it, uh, which most people don't, uh, or you could take the route that we did with this Star Trek uh, uh, vault that we just got in. And what you do is you basically lift it up on its front legs, lift it up and you put that on your legs. And, and so someone's gonna be putting and ratcheting that bolt in uh, to get those legs on. And of course, someone's gonna be stabilizing it at that point it's set up. Go ahead and get some sliders, carpet sliders, put them underneath the, the legs of the pin that will dramatically help you in your ability to move this pinball machine to its proper location. Uh, but other than that, just make sure uh, at that point to get the back box up uh, and the back glass. And there's going to be two bolts to that. Very simple. 
you put it up, make sure the cables go into the into the pinball machine when you're putting the back box up. Sterns uh, will bolt to the bottom. It's kind of like at an angle to where it, it captures it to the back. Uh, some of them, like for instance, a virtual cab, which is right here, uh, those actually, you have ability to open the back box up and there's bolts to the inside. So each game is gonna be different. Ratchet those bolts down. Again, do not do it super tough or tight. And that's really it. Once your back box is up, You've already gotten, and of course, you know, the big thing here is once your back box is up, you want to go ahead and try to unlock the lock bar, take the glass off, and basically access your play field to get all the foam out of uh, the scoops. To there, there may be some zip ties that are around, for instance, uh, the Vengeance that's on this uh, the Star Trek behind me. Uh, the Vengeance had a lock tie around it, which you need to cut. Uh, with wire cutters of course you will have your keys around your plunger and make sure to cut those off as well uh, but that's about it i mean realistically you know your lock bar uh and and getting the the play fill glass off uh basically i'll show you a picture right here uh which shows you there's generally either two ways to do it there's a yellow lever in some of the older games and you just pull that lever and it and unreleases it. Now on some of the newer sterns, for instance, there's a double latch system where they actually hook and then you tighten it down with, with a puller. And so you would latch it and then tighten down the lock. It's the same way backwards, you pull it up, get that, get that hook off of the area and then you can just pull that lock bar right off. And uh, again, be very careful with the play field glass that is tempered, it will shatter, trust me. Uh, I've been, I've seen so many videos of it. Just be very careful. Pull it out. Once you pull that lock bar off, keep a hand on it. Some of these, uh, some of the table glass will just come straight out and slide out. So just be careful. Some of the newer sterns are a little tighter fit. Some of the older ones, it'll just slide right out on you, and you have no control. But anyway, that's really much. That's really it. It's that easy. Like I mean, not super hard. Again, once you have your first print pinball machine, it makes it so much easier. Uh, you know, please look in the description, obviously. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some notes down here. Uh, I'm gonna just kinda give you some steps of what to do. But the other thing is, throughout this video, as you see these pictures that are pop popping up on this video, uh, this is a step-by-step -step process in the, in the pictures to walk you through actually getting your pinball machine set up. Take screenshots of it, it's that simple. Take screenshots, follow the directions. Your pinball machine should have instructions on it unless you're buying them used. If you buy them used, they may not come with a manual, and if that's the case, this is the video for you, so please share this. Uh, the other thing is, this is a hobby. You know, for all the pinheads out there, a lot of guys already know this stuff. There's a lot of guys that don't. But with that said, you know, please like, follow us, and subscribe. I mean, Arcade and Pinball Talk, we're trying to put out information to help beginners, but also showcase reviews and so forth, and we do how-tos and rumors and everything else you can think of. But like us, follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Arcade and Pinball Talk under groups, Instagram, Arcade Pinball Talk. We're now on Twitter, just now started getting that going. But also, click the AP picture. It should be right here. If you have that on your video, click it, it should allow you to subscribe, or depending on if you're on desktop, look down below, there'll be a red button. Click it, be a bull man, just go ahead and hit it. It's red for a reason. I mean, help help us keep helping you by providing content. And it comes through subscriptions, it comes through the likes, it comes through us being able to help you guys. So anyway, we appreciate your time today and we hope that this pinball uh, setup tutorial will be very helpful for everyone. Please like and share. And uh, again, we look forward to our next pinball uh, video with you guys. Thank you again for your time today.